Hello everyone and welcome back to Instrumentation Hub. In the previous video, we have seen the basic introduction of control system, block diagram of the control system, some real time application of control system and different types of control system. And in this video, we are going to see a quick review of these terms and one more classification of control system. That classification is time variant systems and time invariant control systems. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin with the control system block diagram. You can see block diagram of the control system on your screen. These are some important factors that you have to remember while studying the control system. Major components that are used in the control system are input, error detector, controller, plant or process, feedback and output. Control system is basically used to control a specific physical parameter at given set point or as per given set point. If you want to learn more about this term then you can check my previous video. I am giving the link of this video in description. We have also seen the different types of control systems. It is a classification of control system. The first classification is closed loop control system and open loop control system. In this, the main thing that you have to remember is feedback. In the closed loop control system, feedback is present, whereas in open loop control system, feedback does not present. Now, another type that we have seen is linear control systems and non-linear control systems. If you remember, we have used one term that is superposition principle. We know that. The systems that follows the superposition principle are the linear systems and the control systems that does not follow the superposition principle are non-linear systems. If you want to learn more about these two classifications, you can refer previous videos. Okay, so as I said, there is a third type of control system or third classification of control system that is time variant system and time invariant systems we will see more about it okay so what you can understand by hearing the name that is time variant and time invariant mm, yeah you are right time variant system are those whose parameter changes with respect to time and time invariant system are whose parameter does not changes with respect to time. Let's take an example of water level indicator. Can you guess what kind of system it is? Yes, it is a time variant system. Why? Let me tell you. In, the, in this example, level of water is going to be increase or decrease after some time. It means the parameter or the level of the water is changing with respect to time. That's why it is a time variant system. Let's take an another example. Let's consider RLC network. RLC is a register capacitance and inductor network. The output of that circuit is constant. It does not vary with respect to time. That is a time invariant systems. Time variant systems are complicated to design whereas time invariant systems are less complicated or <laughs> less complicated than time variant systems. So these are the major difference between time variant and time invariant. I think you have got a basic idea about these type of control systems. But still if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section. And try to remove this concept by remembering some keywords. I will mention these keywords in the description so let's take a look. Okay, so that is for the today's video. See you all in the next video. Till then, tata, bye bye. And don't forget to like, share, and comment.